everybody Ann here sitting here in the tiny house having some hot coffee with all of you it's raining and it's dark the lighting is terrible in here I'm sorry but uh, it's gonna be raining all today all tomorrow so I'm gonna get plenty of water which is great I need to do some more laundry and whatnot uh, so I don't think there's gonna be any outdoor projects for the next couple of days and the chickens, I've already taken care of the chickens, went in, gave them some food, freshened their water. I let the leghorns out just for a tiny bit, but ushered them back into the van because it's just too wet out there for them. I mean, it's going to be literally wet everywhere, so uh, they're all just going to stay in the van. I'll go check on them a, a few times. But as far as what I'm going to do, I don't know. I got some... I got some clam chowder going right now. This is going to be yummy. Clam chowder. I've got red potatoes in there. Yes, I leave the skins on. Most of these potatoes are going to cook down. Uh, I've got salt, pepper, garlic, sage, rosemary in there. Oh, I didn't put any thyme in there. I might put some thyme in there. But this is going to cook for a while, and then I'm going to put some milk in it, and it is going to be so good. I mean, it's breakfast time, but I'm making clam chowder, making a big pot of it, and... I'm going to like basically eat off of it all day long. It's going to be delicious because there's just a little bit of chill in the air. Not too bad. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to muddle through these next couple of days doing completely useless random things. Mmm, yummy clam chowder. I decided to add some cheese. I had to add cheese. So let me get a taste of this. Oh, that's going to be good. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It is kind of a thin soup, but that's okay. Still tastes good. I usually thicken it up with some milk and some cornstarch. Didn't do it this time. But as it cools, it'll thicken a little bit. And when I heat it back up, it'll lose some more moisture. So I think that this turned out really, really delicious. I figured there's no better time than the present to make another one of those chicken nummies that I made the other day. Put it in a container this big. And when I made it before, I didn't take measurements, but I do remember I used four dried apricots, about that many dried cranberries, and about, what you doing, Judy? That many golden raisins, and there's about two, two heaping tablespoons of each of those dried fruits right down there. And so I'm going to chop those up. I'm going to add some old-fashioned oats, some crunchy peanut butter, and some cornmeal. So I'm going to try and get the measurements down so you can kind of figure out how to do this on your own. But I'm going to get started on it. Oh, and check this out. My pretty bouquet is still looking pretty. Well, pretty. There's the fruits. I got them all chopped up. Could have been a little bit smaller, but I'm pretty sure they'll be okay. This is what it looks like with just the fruits in there, how much I used. And then I started with three heaping tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter. And I added a cup of oats, had to put it in a bowl because it's easier to mix up. And then about a half a cup of cornmeal. So hopefully this will be right. So I found out that once I got to squeezing it, it just was too crumbly. Um, it didn't hold together enough, so I had to add more peanut butter. Two more heaping tablespoons later of peanut butter, and yep, that's about the consistency I want. So just press it down. I had to actually get two tubs to put it in because it, it ended up creating so much more. Really press it down hard. Press it down very, very hard. Put a lid on and let it set for several hours, if not overnight. You want to give time for the ingredients to kind of melt together and the oats to kind of like expand just a little bit and just kind of form a firm cake sort of a thing that all comes out at once. So I will let this sit for a little bit and then let you see what it looks like when I feel like it's ready to go out to the chickens. What are you doing, Judy? Are you bored, Judy? Is Judy bored? You trying to give me a hint or something? You bored too? Trying to give me a hint? Is that what you're trying to do? It's like, come on, mom. I want to play. Come on, mom. I want to play. I'm bored. What you doing, Judy? What's up, girlfriend? What's up? Not a good shot for me, right? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so bored! Okay, since uh, there's not a whole lot to do today, it's gonna be raining for the next 48 hours, basically. I figured I'd sit here and talk to you about my long and storied tenure as a homesteader and basically chicken farmer. Just kidding, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And seeing as how I put you through, I don't know, five, six minutes of complete and total utter banality, I'd like to ask you to um, like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and leave a comment, because this has been a really, really awesome video. Anyway, that truly is all I've got for you today. See you in the next video! Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.